Today's topic is heart transplant surgery, everything you need to know. Heart transplant surgery is a medical procedure used to treat the most serious kinds of heart disease. People at the very end stages of heart failure are the ones who require a heart transplant, as after other medications, treatments, and lifestyle changes fail to improve their health. People have to face certain requirements to be candidates for a heart transplant. Let's look at the surgery in detail. Candidacy for a heart transplant. Heart transplant candidates are people dealing with heart diseases and are close to heart failure due to conditions such as 1. Coronary artery disease 2. Congenital conditions 3. Cardiomyopathy or weakened heart muscle 4. Valve dysfunction 5. Valve disease However, a serious heart condition isn't enough to make you a candidate for a heart transplant as the rarity of the procedure means that a patient has to match other requirements, which are 1. Positive overall health. Having other life-threatening conditions besides heart failure could create problems. 2. The patient has to be less than 65 years of age. 3. A patient must commit to lifestyle changes, such as regular exercising and healthy eating, for them to be considered for a transplant. A patient meeting all the requirements will be added to the transplant list and will have to wait until a donor matches with them. This could take a while. There are around 2,000 donors a year in the U.S., while the transplant list has around 3,000 people. Procedure A heart transplant lasts for around 4 hours. It starts with the removal of the existing heart, after which a patient is put on a heart-lung machine for blood circulation. The pulmonary vein is left open and the left atrium wall is not removed to prepare for transplanting the donor's heart. The surgeon then stitches in the donor's heart, which could start beating a few moments later. Usually, the new heart starts beating as soon as the blood reaches it. However, an electric shock might be needed in certain cases to make it start beating. Recovery A patient is taken to the intensive care unit, ICU, straight after the transplant. There, they are constantly monitored given pain medication, and have drainage tubes attached to remove any additional fluid from their chest. They will be monitored for possible infections during this time and will receive anti-rejection medicine to ensure that their body does not reject the donor's heart. A full recovery can last up to six weeks. Follow-up. Frequent checkups are necessary after recovery to ensure that the new heart is working properly. This involves blood tests, biopsies, and careful monitoring to check for any signs of rejection. These signs include 1. Shortness of breath 2. Fever 3. Fatigue 4. Weight gain due to fluid retention 5. Reduced urine For females, taking the step to start a family must be discussed with a cardiologist as they have a risk of heart disease. Maintaining the new heart and keeping it healthy requires lifestyle changes. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.